And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon! And now the King's League's opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tim Elliott! You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, here's Tim Elliott as we get this round underway. He is a certifiable wild man, but perhaps that short changes his skill set just a little bit. He's an outstanding jiu-jitsu player. He has shown definite development on the feet, James Krause. Jason High and his coaches deserve a lot of credit for that career progression. But the focus for Tim tonight is to be unpredictable. Certainly his opponent expects that this fight is going to hit the canvas at some point in time. But Elliott wants to give him a lot of different looks, switch the stances, and perhaps find some openings on the feet as well. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the Matt John's papers, went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly going to like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big elbow. Back and forth we go here. Oh, heavy leg kick. Man, I'm not sure if it's button mashing or what, but we got a fight on our hands, oh, folks. Oh, John, it's button mashing. Huh. It is absolutely button mashing because this type of fight happens in the video game. Oh! Oh, man, these are hard. Beautiful spot, man, right under the elbow. Lands a good series of kicks here. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Immediately gets the underhook. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. It's beautiful setup to the leg kick. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Lands a shot to the leg. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Oh, big elbow. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> Elliot gets back up. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one orb. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. Elliott's now dealing with a cheap cut. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, somehow 
some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, submission attempts and bunches tonight. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. He's out again. Elliott gets back up again. Out of range with that one. Elliott's eye is closing up. Oh, back and forth we go. Ten seconds to go in the round. The takedown is not there. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Everything we're doing is working. Those punch kick combinations. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Beautiful jab land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. The jab here blocked by Elliott. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Slips. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Let's go. Get to his Dars, yep, he's trying to hit the Dars here. Oh, Darce choke, locked and loaded. Oh, no! Oh, he got out! He got out and defended. John, I thought it was over. I thought it was done. It was so tight, it was deep. They were hip to hip. I thought the fight was done. Great job in awareness. Oh, 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 This arena is still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call his shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kimura, Timothy Elliott. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission.